The global health situation has been a challenge not just for employees, but also to businesses all over the world. Thousands of businesses globally have moved their entire business online, cut back on their number of employees, and even shut their doors permanently. 2020 was also a pretty anxious year for the stock market. Many people lost hundreds and thousands of dollars, and many people who have invested in the stock market are longing to find out what 2021 has in store for them. Which businesses are likely to blow up? in 2021. We have made things easier for you, and in this video, that's exactly what we're going to talk about. But before we get into the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on so you don't miss any of the new videos we post. Let's start the list of businesses that are likely to blow up in 2021 with Market Access. Market Access has a market value of $21.4 billion, and although it might not be one of the most well-known names on the list, the company operates operates a leading electronic industrial marketplace to trade bonds. One of the products used to help its clients is its auto execution tool, also known as AutoX. Launched in 2018, the company's CEO stated in the company's quarter 3 2020 conference call that automated trading volumes were more than $30 billion, which is an increase from the previous year's $23 billion. AutoX now accounts for 14% of the company's total trade account. In the past five years, the company has had a 69% growth rate, which is quite astounding. It has more than doubled its income to $205 million in 2019 and through the end of September. The top and bottom lines were up at 36% and 46%. Market Access was also the second best performing S&P 500 stock of the past decade, with a total return of more than 2,770% through the end of 2019. The only business that did better than it was Netflix. Shopify is is another company worth investing in. If people had the foresight of investing $10,000 in Shopify when it went public in May 2015, today you would have had close to $670,000 by the end of last year. The company's e-commerce platform has been raking in all the money since the global health situation started, and people had nowhere to go but their couches and pursuing various online shopping sites. Companies of various sizes rushed to get their products to customers at the right time. The company's third quarter results were nothing short of impressive. Total revenues grew by 96%, and that amounts to $767 million. Its subscription solutions sales went up by 48% to $245 million. Lastly, its merchant solutions revenue, or the sales it shares for transactions made on its platform, rose by more than 100% to $522 million. Suffice it to say that those who invested money early in Shopify are virtually bathing the themselves and money right now. A significant area to keep an eye on in 2021 is Shopify Capital, which is the company's lending business. It provides short-term loans and cash advances to its users. A certain amount of money is advanced and the merchant then repays a certain percentage of their daily sales until the loan is paid in full. Netflix is predicted to make it big in 2021 too. With people confined to their homes and mainly their couches, Netflix has had a stellar year in the markets, gaining well more than thrice the total returns of the S&P 500. Though Netflix only added 2.2 million new paid subscribers in the third quarter of 2020, which is quite a low number, Netflix expects to add 6 million new paid subscribers in the final quarter, which would bring its total to more than 200 million for the first time ever. The third quarter was also a significant success where cash flow is concerned, compared to 2019's third quarter when it used $551 million in free cash flow. In 2000. 2020, cash flow was $1.15 billion. This enabled the company to finish the year with a positive cash flow, and that's a first for quite a number of years. Despite increased competition from other players such as Disney Plus and Apple, Netflix remains the gold standard when it comes to streaming services, thanks to shows such as The Queen's Gambit, which is one of the most popular limited scripted series of all time. The show even got people to rush to stores and get themselves chess sets. The company's CEO, Reed Hastings, has plenty of other ideas to keep the streaming service among the best, not just in 2021, but even beyond that. Next on the list is Twilio. Twilio is the cloud-based provider of APIs or application program interfaces. With Twilio, the companies are better able to communicate with their customers. Airbnb, for example, uses it to reach their hosts, and Box uses Twilio to verify the identities of users through text messages. It doesn't matter what mode of communication businesses use to engage customers, be it audio, email, 
text or video, Twilio has a platform that can help. Since 2017, Twilio has kept going. During the first nine months of 2020, the company's revenue was 51% higher than the year before, and that amounted to $1.21 billion. Since the start of 2017, the company has experienced 1,070% gain, and that's something worth celebrating. There are two key metrics to watch, and that's the number of active customer accounts and the dollar-based net expansion rate. The former jumped by 21% and the latter grew by 137%. Experts are confident that sustained growth momentum will continue to help bring about outperformance. So, if you're thinking of investing your money, now is the best time to do so in Twilio. Investors should also be on the lookout for Viva Systems. Viva Systems provides cloud-based software solutions specific to life sciences and other healthcare-related industries. It works with other companies that are currently developing vaccines such as AstraZeneca and Pfizer. In December of 2020, Viva reported third-quarter revenues of $378 million that were up 34% year-over-year. Headquartered in Pleasanton, California, the company was established in 2007 by Peter Gassner and Matt Wallach. Viva helps life sciences companies better manage customer relations, track clinical trials and regulations, store and analyze data, and a few other things. It has a first mover's advantage in the niche market, and a growing number of drug makers are signing up to take advantage of its services. It faces little competition in its niche market, so it's one business to invest money in. Etsy deserves to be on this list too. Etsy is a one-of-a-kind e-commerce platform, which sells a variety of handcrafted goods. Etsy stands out from the rest of the competition because there's nothing quite like it. Etsy has more than 3 million active sellers all over the world who provide unique products to almost 70 million customers. It has provided people a marketplace like no other, and that's what kept Etsy at the top of its game. Etsy currently has an estimated 5% market share of the $100 billion market for one-of-a-kind retail items. It has a total addressable market of $1.7 trillion. Of Etsy's approximately 46 million active buyers at the end of 2019, 59% shopped only once during the year, and this means a unique opportunity for Etsy to grow its customer loyalty. In the third quarter of the 2020 fiscal year, the company had gross merchandise sales of $2.63 billion, which was 2% lower compared to the second quarter, but 119% higher year over year. The revenue shows no sign of slowing down, as it shot up 128% to $451.5 million, and sales were also 5% higher despite the 2% decline in GMS. Furthermore, Etsy stock came in second to Tesla by virtue of quadrupling across the year. Although Etsy might struggle early in 2021, it could still finish the year as one of the best growth stocks, so it makes sense to invest in Etsy. Prologis is a business that's likely to make it big in 2021. With a market value of $7.1 billion, Prologis is an industrial real estate investment trust that has an emphasis on logistics and e-commerce. Although real estate wasn't one of the big winners in 2020, Prologis managed to pull off a return of almost 15% in the past year. The company currently wholly owns or is a co-investor in 976 million square feet of industrial real estate in more than a dozen countries. It leases industrial spaces and warehouses to more than 5,000 major companies in business to business, as well as retail to online fulfillment. Prologis has assets under management that exceed $145 billion and generates more than $3 billion in net operating income. Prologis has grown its core funds from operations by 12% over the past five years. There are reports suggesting that industrial space will slow in early 2021, and this will lead to faster rental growth this year, so Prologis is expected to make it big in 2021. And of course, Amazon has to be on this list. One of the biggest winners of 2020 revenue-wise is Amazon. Just ask Jeff Bezos. His company just made him even richer than he already was. His 2020 increase in wealth is outstanding, and experts say he will have a difficult time matching it. Over the past year, his net worth increased by roughly $75 billion. That's more money than we can count. Although he spent $4 billion in 2020 to keep the employees in Amazon warehouses safe, that's peanuts compared to what he got in return. The business grew so much that they had to hire 430,000 people since March of last year to keep up with the increasing demand for online shopping. During the first nine months of 2020, sales jumped 35% to $260.5 billion.
billion, which filtered down to a $14.1 billion profit, 70% higher compared to the year-ago period. Going into 2021, investors should be on the lookout for what Amazon is doing on the healthcare front. There are many reports that Amazon intends to expand its Amazon Health service beyond its employees. It's now looking to other big companies looking to provide virtual healthcare. Which company will you be investing in? Let us know in the comments section down below. Look out for our next video and stay safe out there.